All right, in this clip, we're going to take a deep dive look into Stuart James' trick uh, further than that. It's a great card trick, and let me show it to you. To do that, I'll need a random number, and for that, hey, Siri, uh, name a random number between 10 and 20. A random number between 10 and 20 is 11. 11 is good. We deal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 cards. We can go further than that. 11 is two numbers, a 1 and a 1. So we'll use that card, and you can remember it if you'd like. It's not like I'm going to find it, so it doesn't matter. No, I don't have to find it. Check it out. I found it before we started. Yeah, you'll see one card now face up in the pack. Does the Ace of Spades ring a bell? Hmm. Further than that, look, that Ace of Spades the only odd back card in the pack. It's the only odd back. How is the way? Oh, we can go further than that. Yeah, further than that. I can use a magic spell. Ace. A-C-E. Spades. Ace of spades. S-P-A-D-E-S. -E spades. And what do you know? We get a winner every time. Oh, further than that. Yeah, further than that when I spelled uh, ace. What do you know? We got the one, two, three aces. Huh? Yeah, when I spelled spades, you got it. That's a whole bunch of spades. Further than that, if we draw to a poker hand, that's four more cards. Well, what do you know? You got it. We got the Royal Flush in spades, and it doesn't get further than that. Wow. So, wow, what a great card piece. Uh, another miracle by Stuart James. In my last tutorial, we featured his ring, safety pin, and rope a trick. If you haven't seen that, it's well worth a look. In this trick, uh, we're going to discuss... Uh, a self-working procedure and like most of the beginner tutorials that I'm posting on the uh, classroom at conjure.com that's what this is being filmed for uh, the, the material is going to be based on the Mark Wilson course and this one is another one from the reputation maker section and it's called further than that uh, this trick and by the way at conjure.com there is a recommended reading list you can find links to the book so you know Support the love, you know, and do yourself a favor. Get a good magic book. But a note on the published, uh, uh, the, the publishing of this trick. Stuart James published this in 1941. So this trick is over 80 years old. And here we are. I did it for a TikTok and a YouTube short. Still relevant today, in my opinion. And all you need to do it is stack the deck correctly. Uh, I did add the odd back card into the trick, the face up. I think it's a nice punch. Uh, a lot of people just name the card, but I think having a card appear face up and then an odd back adds another level of uh, further than that to this trick. But uh, the setup is pretty simple. You get a run of spades, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's going to be on top of the deck. Right below those are the aces, and you want the ace of spades last. And then below that, I put the uh, ten jack, queen, king of spades. So let me spread this out for you here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, ace, 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 ace of spades, and then the royal flush. A little below that, like five or six cards down, you'll need at least 20 cards down because of the math. It's mathematics. So this card has to be deep enough so that you don't expose it, you know, when you're doing the counting. Uh, that's the face-up revelation. If you want to just use a regular pack instead of using that face-up odd back card, just uh, either write a prediction that's one option. Or you can just psychically divine, you know, your card was the ace of spades. Uh, there's been a lot of handlings of this trick, and Google will be your friend here. If you'd like to dive deeper in some other routes, you know, go check it out. Search some things. That's what I do when I learn a new trick. But uh, moving on, you just get your friend to name a number, and it can be any number between 10 and 20. It doesn't work with 10. It has to be between 10 and 20. So, hey, Siri. Name a random number between 10 and 20. A random number between 10 and 20 is 17. 17. So you deal the number that your uh, friend names, your spectator names a number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then you say to go further than that, and this is where we set the premise, 17 is two numbers, a 1 and a 7. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And whatever number it is, a one and a four, a one and a five, you end a one and a seven, you end on that card, and that's going to force the ace of spades every time. Now remember this, the ace goes back here after the count, right backward, and then the rest of the cards get dropped on top, and then this gets dropped on top of the deck. 
You can false shuffle at this point, and in the opening demo, I did false shuffle the deck. Uh, you can do false cuts, or you can leave it as is. It can remain self-working, but as you grow, and that information for, uh, you know, I used a jog shuffle. It's in the Mark Wilson course. This is why books are our friend. But you force the card, the face-up card remains. All that's left is to do the uh, effect, which is Hocus Pocus. There's one card face-up in the pack, and we're going to go further than that. It's an odd back card. And further than that, if you spell, and I say it's a magic spell, so you spell ace, A-C-E, and yeah, those are the aces, and then you spell spades, that's six cards, S-P-A-D-E-S, -E and the math works out, it's a wonderful thing, and waiting on top of the deck is your royal flush, <clears throat> so you do your denouements, you said, yeah, when I spelled ace, that gave us the aces, when I spelled spades, that gave us the spades. And if we go further and further than that, I can draw to a poker hand. That's four more cards to match this ace. That's the royal flush and spades. And that, oh, you can't get further than that. That's the end line. But that is further than that. Thank you, Stuart James, a genius of magic. If you get a chance to research some of his material, you'll be doing your brain a favor. Uh, well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that wonderful self-working masterpiece. Again, thank you, Stuart James.